beating belly fat. Liz Bonus joins us now with what we need to know in our Living Longer Report. Liz. Hey guys, good afternoon once again. A new study on body mass index, or BMI, says it may no longer be the number to use to measure good health. That's because new research shows where you carry that weight and body fat is a better indicator on how you measure up when it comes to your good health. The pear shape, a little healthier than the waist weight, or the apple shape as it's called. It appears it's because the fat that is stored in your hips and your legs is referred to as what's called storage fat. That means it's not metabolically active the way the weight around your belly is in the body. Metabolically active fat appears to cause inflammation, which raises your risk for heart disease and cancer. And while obesity overall may be on the decline, researchers say the number of people in the world's top 30 developed nations with excess abdominal fat well, that number is actually much higher than the number of people deemed obese and overweight by the body mass index worldwide. Specialists at the Cleveland Clinic say even if your body mass index or weight for height is within normal ranges, if you have excessive abdominal fat, you have a greater risk of a shorter lifespan and not living well. Exercise, more fruits and vegetables, lower alcohol intake, all of those can help reduce belly fat. It's also suggested, however, that rather than the BMI or body mass index, you can use another measurement to check your waistline. Take a tape measure, put it right at your belly button. For better health, the number around your waist should be half your height or less. So that means I'm 5'6", 66 inches. My waist should be no more than 33 inches. It's generally that it's no more than 40 for guys or 35 for women. That shows, uh, that's the number where they find that you can triple the risk for diabetes, mm. heart disease. And it's interesting that it's that simple yeah. when you start adding that up. Mm. So, how tall are you? 6'5". Six 6'5". Five. Six five. Do you know your waistline? Yeah, I'm, I'm between 33 and 34. Yeah, so you're, as long as you're under that 40, you're probably doing great. It's, it almost works foolproof. And what they find is that even if you weigh more, if you carry that, as much as we ladies don't like yeah. it, a little bit lower, you tend to have fewer health problems, huh. and it's really good for the body. So as much as we don't necessarily like that, we should okay. be happy. Notice well, I didn't ask have... Paula her I, waist. I, you're very, very kind. I, I, I don't. Those I, are things we don't talk about. I, I'd rather share my waist than my height, but no. Oh, okay. right. You okay. are perfect. God no. made you that way. We're back at 6 o'clock to talk to you a little bit more about some breakthrough hearing technology. It's just going to be mind-boggling. All right. Thank Thanks, you, Liz.